Thank you. This slide is um, to tell you that I don't know if, if you know, but during um, replication of the DNA, approximately three million base pair mistakes are made. And these mistakes are more commonly seen in areas of the DNA that have repetitive sequences. These are called the microsatellites. So very quickly, whoever designed the cell realized that without a robust mismatch repair system that will proofread um, the DNA before completing cell division, uh, well, probably wouldn't be here right now. Now, next slide. Again, to tell you uh, a little bit about the microsatellites, these are small sequences of DNA, usually one to six bases. They are all over the genome, and most of the microsatellites are in what we call non-coding regions. However, a few of them are part of genes that are very important to regulate proliferation and apoptosis, especially the transforming growth factor beta pathway. So next slide. Next slide, thank you. So the DNA uh, mismatch repair products um, are proteins. The four, more import, in, the, uh, four most important of them are MLH1, PMS2, MSH2, and MSH6. And uh, there are other ones that are not as significant. Now, these proteins act as heterodimers. So MLH1 links with PMS2 and MSH2 links with MSH6. Uh, it's important to remember because of some of these staining patterns that we can have. So next slide. Thank you. So any time that we have deficiencies in the mismatch repair system, um, they, now, there you go, thank you. It could be related to two possible causes. One is the presence of mutations in the uh, mismatch repair genes that code for those proteins that I just uh, uh, talked about. Or it, it could also be the result not of mutations in the DNA, but things that happen after replication uh, has finished. And this is what we call epigenetic abnormalities. In any case, uh, either by, by both problems, we get to a tumor that has microsatellite high uh, instability. So there's two types of microsatellite unstable tumors.